This is sad of all the night To just live out the sad I love you and I miss you What else is there to say? Good night. I think she's still pissed at me. She'll come around. I mean, what girl would want her guy to stand up for her? I know I would. No, I mean, she's right. I need to watch my temper. All it ever does is get me in trouble. Wow. I'd love a guy to come to my rescue. Does that mean I like trouble? <laughs> I'm a little drunk, so in case I said a lot of inappropriate things tonight, I want you to know... I meant all of them. I think I'll go for a swim. I knew you were watching the other night. I'm glad you were, but you can see a lot better with the lights on. now and I don't want to end up like my future self. Mm. You're like what? 22, right? So legally this is supposed to be new to you. You're acting your age. It's your mother that isn't. Well, she just came here to embarrass me. Isn't that what moms do? I guess. You don't really think I'll end up like her, do you? Drunk at a bar with no friends? Never. You got friends. Right. Okay. So are you gonna ask me out now or what? Nah. Too young for me. Maybe when you grow up. Well, you Is this a champagne room? Hales, I'm sorry. Okay, I try to be responsible in that, but that idiot got out of line. I promise I wasn't gonna hit him. Please don't be mad at me. I'm not mad. I'm... I'm disappointed. In me? In a lot of things. I guess I should just be happy you're not sneaking around with some other girl. Just asked me to marry him.
grandma thing I'm gonna go to New York Lucas I'm not sure when I'll be back don't do this I know you're upset I know but you need to believe me when I tell you you're the girl I love What's the point of it all? then how come you never gave me this I got home, and I thought I'd do some menial chore to get my mind off of how angry I was. Laundry was the first thing that came to mind. Who hides a ring in a sock drawer, Luke? Nancy, that ring... Don't. I'm just gonna go. For the record, It's as beautiful as I imagined it would be. Give me something. I was waiting to give you the ring until I was sure I had another book in me. I just don't want you to end up regretting me because I can't finish. I would never regret you. Hey, you say that now. But what if I'm not Lucas the writer? What if I'm... Lucas, the small-time basketball coach. What if that's all I'm ever gonna be? Then I'd be the small-town basketball coach's wife. Look at me, Lucas. I don't love you for your book. I love you for the mind that book sprang from. And I don't care if you never write another word again. You will always be more than a small town basketball coach. Because you'll be the man that I love. asked me to marry him. started walking again. I've got no business being in some guy's face. Lucas kissed Peyton. What? When? Before we left Trick in Peyton's office, I walked in and I saw the whole thing. All right. Enough of it. Ugh. I don't understand how Lucas can do this to Lindsay after everything that they've been through. And Peyton, who, who does she think she is? She turned down Lucas's proposal. She broke his heart. She has no right to take him from Lindsay. Maybe it wasn't what it looked like. Maybe it was just a friendly kiss, or maybe it was a goodbye kiss. Maybe it was just a mistake. Oh, I, I know what I saw. This was a full-on romantic Lucas Peyton kiss.
See where Dan's jersey used to hang. No, it's kind of eerie, huh? You know that's weird. I expected to see Lindsay here. Have you talked to Haley tonight? Now that you mention it, no. But I've been trying to avoid her. What's going on? You kissed Peyton, didn't you? Okay, I know you want to call me a dick. It's fine. I kissed Carrie. You're a dick. No. Actually, she kissed me, but it still happened, and I. Man, I'm not that guy, Luke. Are you sure? I mean, if you had another chance to do it, would you do it again? No, absolutely not. I love Haley. Okay. You know, Luke, every time I try to keep something from Haley, it just makes it worse. I'm gonna tell her. She deserves to know. Ready to go home now, Daddy? I gotta stop being my father. Start being the father of my son thinks I am. So I'm holding on. I'm holding on. There was a high school basketball game tonight, somewhere in America. A team won, and a team lost. That's not the real story. The real story is about fathers and sons. It's about life and time and change. Wow. Uh, all right. I'll see you later. See ya. Girls and boys went to the game. They dressed up and hoped to fit in. Some did. Some didn't. With a broken heart It's okay, I thought since I came with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Okay. I want you to. Okay. And you know why? Because you're my best friend, Brooke Davis, and you always will be. Yes, I will. Love you. It's a story that has history and chapters yet to be written. You ready, Rockstar? My name's Peyton, fake blonde Peyton. I don't have a boyfriend cause I'm a bitch. What sketch? Whatever. You look like you smell like feet. <laughs> Hi. I was looking for you. I was here. What are you thinking about? Keith. He'd be proud of you. I may have lost my way now. Haven't forgotten my way home. There was a high school basketball game tonight, somewhere in America. Reporters will report. They'll tell you who the high scorer was and what the keys to the game were. But that's not the real story. As a matter of fact, that's not the story at all. We're barely holding on to you. 